Out to Mr. Rogers' door we go. Oh, got some exciting news for you guys. Ready for this? Check this out. I decided to pet a chainsaw a couple of nights ago, and I'm starting starting to get the pain and the throbbing to go away, but I chewed through my finger with a chainsaw. That was awesome. Luckily, it was, wasn't that bad, but uh, today we have the guys here from Crossroads Construction working on our Nietzsche-ha siding. guys good morning so we are on day two of putting on siding I don't have a turn in my pocket I don't mean we as in me and someone else I mean these guys as you can see behind me we've got the wood going up in the center and then we've got these orange panels going up on the side I'll give you a close-up here here's the wood stuff Woo! man this stuff really looks gorgeous but I'll give you a close-up of what this Nietzsche ha looks like. It's like a, it's like a fiber, like this fiber. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's cement. It's got some kind of fibers in it. But what they do is, they obviously go up. They got this little track system right behind you. They got this little track system where it starts. It starts here on the bottom, and that's where our, the, the first run, that's their starter strip. And then once they put one, one of these 18 inch panels in, then one of these clips gets screwed on and holds the top of the sheet on, and then the next sheet dives into this and is held in by this clip as well. Absolutely awesome system um, that these Japanese people made, uh, Nichiha, which is, kind of fun to say but uh yeah they've they've got all the j put on around all the windows here and they've got all their starter strips going and these guys are just banging away today so th this is probably going to go a little quicker today than yesterday but you'll see right underneath you jay you'll see this is the this is the one that needs to be painted we don't want this orange color on there this is going to end up being black but this is the, I don't know what this is called, it's the wood one, but this is called the Illumination Series. And this is the one that he had, that Sean had given me, um, I guess free of charge for the actual material. And uh, we're going to end up having Marshall paint the outside of the house, so, or paint the outside of those Illumination Series. Check it out, guys. Looking freaking mint. This wood, this wood stuff is just turning out so amazing. We got a few things that'll need to be painted um, on the corner right here. There's a, well, say right about there. There's a corner piece, and then up top, the corner piece on there wasn't pre-painted so we got these white corners or they call them primed corners but uh they, they're gonna need to be painted but obviously all the orange that you see here is going to be painted as well so it's not the end of the world we're but i gotta show you guys something really cool jana's not too happy about it but i gotta show you something awesome Check this out, you guys. I freaking found a phone booth at a garage sale and a pedestal phone, but I thought, 
I thought this would be awesome inside the house and she doesn't think so. I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand why, but at any rate, back to, uh, back to the house. So this is how we got our stuff set up in here so that the guys can come in and reference our drawings. You don't have any felony warrants, do you? <laughs> Should I? <laughs> so we got one of the cabinet guys over and Jana's going through and telling them all of these crazy things that she's dreamed up. But we are getting there, you guys. Just waiting on, just waiting on these two pieces of glass to come in. They're supposed to be coming in in a week or two. Um, unfortunately, this, this, these types of windows aren't readily available. It takes a while to get them. So, but yeah, Jana's going through. So, so just so you guys understand, as you can see, you can see all of these shipping containers showing inside of the house. People think that all of our walls are studded out and you can't, all of this is gonna be exposed, ceilings exposed. The two rooms where we're not really gonna have any exposed containers is gonna be the bathroom and the master bedroom. She wanted the sheetrock on the walls, which is completely understandable. She wants a little more cozy here, but we're still gonna have the ceilings in here exposed container, so. Um, people think for some reason that because we're siding the outside that we're not going to have any exposed containers and there was just no reason for containers. Well, that couldn't be more false. Um, ah, get down there. OSHA approved climbing system. Oh, nothing really on the back of the house yet. A little bit right there. House. It's gonna look amazing. So these these vertical joint strips, whatever, J channel, whatever you want to call it, they came in and they're not really um, they're not a good color. They need to be darker. So that'll be something that'll have to be painted as well. And uh, you know who we'll be talking to about that, Marshall. If, get your butt out here with, I don't know if we can make a, a little bit of a darker color, but I'm sure you can. He's mine, what can I say? <laughs> so, I've been watching me beginning our siding being put up. This has just been such an exciting time. So awesome to seeing it coming to life. And one thing that we did to save a little bit of money is there was one that had a style that we liked, but they had an overflow of red. So we were able to get that for a discount and we're gonna have Marshall back on to come and paint and get it the correct color that we want. So the prep work of getting the windows and the plastic up and scuffing is the big part. They say it'll actually go fairly quickly um, doing the painting portion. Wind's not too bad today. Uh, so really excited to see the way that this is gonna look. And then we get the third, um, the third form of siding on. And we have a second company that's coming out to do that. The outside's done. I mean, the structure in the outside has taken so much. I'm hoping the inside goes a lot faster, but there's so much detail work. There's a lot of companies that I'm gonna be working with to do the interior. Already got our cabinet guy, so looking forward to further working with Joe. Um, I've been working with so far, but checked out a lot of different places. And again, local guys, it's who we like to go with. We are ready to spray though. Nice. Yeah, exactly. You don't <laughs> want to have that for a week. Well, I'm sure with having that, you don't really uh, wear gloves because it's. Yeah, it's going to get everywhere anyway. 
Right. Yep. Right. If it was oil based or anything solvent based, I would definitely be wearing respirator, hood. Gotcha. All the protection. But mm -hmm. this is water based, so. And outdoor. We're, and... Yeah, we're going to get covered anyway. But mm -hmm. you can't have any more ideal conditions for spraying today. This yeah. is awesome. It's low, hot. Low humidity. <laughs> yep. Um, it's, it's hot, but not too hot. So mm -hmm. it's going to go fast. By the time we do the back, we'll come right back to the front, put a second coat on, and we'll be done. Nice. Okay, Marshall's getting ready to paint the last of the, the red panels. And uh, the, the front, I don't want to ruin it, but the front looks absolutely stunning. We pulled the tape and the plastic off. It looks beautiful, so I can't wait for you to see it. But we're going to paint the last section of red panels on the house, and uh, we're done with the painting. And shy they're pounding on some sanding standing seam I can never say that standing seam steel but uh things are moving along check out check this out here we've got all of our panels made pretty sweet huh these guys are just getting started on the corner here we've got got a little bit up front here the front here and then basically almost the entire both sides I'm very hopeful you guys um, we had some bad experiences with uh, the other siding company I'll explain that later um, just so that you're aware of what happened and how we dealt with it but um, Mike he's been on top of things he's um, really geared towards you know getting this done correct the first time and asking questions ahead of time I mean this guy is top-notch he knows how to deal with a homeowner and it's uh it's pretty awesome he's also he's also a friend of mine so maybe I'm getting special treatment but I, I highly doubt it this is just this is just how Mike operates so I'm really excited at uh, at what's gonna happen with our finished product here in the next few days. Who's that sexy guy working on my house? What you doing, babe? Uh, drilling for the last fart fan. Ah. Well, apparently the heating guy says nobody calls it a fart fan. What do they call it? It's, it's a bath fan. <laughs> yeah? So apparently, you know, if we're gonna act all hoity-toity, we need to start calling it the bath fan. The bath fan? I don't know, I like the fart fan better. So, this, this is the last one, and then I'm gonna make, there's a bath fan there for downstairs. Yep, It's a bath Hello, fan yeah. here for, well, this ain't a bath fan, this is the dryer vent. Oh. The laundry room. Yep. And then there's one bath fan up over there, and I need to make the blocks that go over those. And then Sammy and I are gonna make the blocks that go around the rest of these holes so that the siders can keep kicking butt and then we gotta we gotta put the this belly band on so this board we need to finish that out up to that wall where the Nietzsche high is so yeah like the other side yeah see how it's looking so far Wow, 
looks really good. It's coming together, baby. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Here you go, guys. Ba -ba. Cue the music, Jana. Yes, of course. This is unfinished. This is going to be some type of soffit material or a board. I have no idea. It could be shiplap. Who knows? But this under here is not finished yet. It hasn't been trimmed out or anything under here because we have speaker wires, lights, and a fan that all needs to get wired in there before we close that off. So um, other than that, the entire outside of the house is finished and uh, we couldn't be happier with how it looks all right guys we're so glad that you finally got to see what we've been looking at for a number of weeks now and the uh, almost finished exterior of the house we think it turned out absolutely amazing we love it so we don't really care if you like it we love it this is our house so if you have a bad comment keep it to yourself we don't care but uh we're so glad you guys watched and if you made it to the end of the video um, I did allude to talking about our bad experiences with the first company doing the Nietzscheha siding and we decided we didn't want to put uh, a poo-poo rag on our nice video here. So we're going to yeah. do a part two of the siding that explains the difficulties we had with that company and also the victories that we had with Mike at Roof Panels Plus that did all the standing seam and all the all the uh, trim work and the fascia and how good of an experience that was. So stay tuned, be looking for that second video for our uh, part two for our siding video. Mm -hmm. And just giving you an update on the interior because we've been in, you know, focusing on the exterior of course in this video. The inside is almost done. I'm so thrilled to start showing you guys the floor is done in there, the tiles done in there. We also have the mezzanine has been polished and finishing that up. We have the stairs that are going to be going in. Uh, Everything. Stainless steel cable rail. Yeah. Countertops, tile, electrical, lighting. I mean, everything is just... Yeah, we even have a wall that's going in, a rock wall that's going to be going in. I'm buying furniture. Just everything's coming together finally. All of these parts that we've been... I mean, this design that we've been dreaming about looking at and finally it's starting to all come together. It's supposed to be maybe, we're guessing, about five weeks and we should be living in a finished house. Um, I know that this was going to be a six-month build two and a half years ago, <laughs> so that might change by a few days, but um, we're really geared up to be in this place by Christmas, and we're going to spend our first Christmas in here this year, so stay tuned. More videos are going to start flying out as long as she does what she's supposed to. Ha, ha, ha. And you know what? We're already coming across some setbacks. We were thinking beginning of December. Now we have a couple different things that are coming up. So this is this is what it is. Life this is on construction. A yeah. It sucks. <laughs> it stinks. Build a house. Build a container house. It'll be fun. <laughs> it can stink. That's for sure at, at some points. But uh, we're so close. We can see the finish line. And I can't wait for you to see it. And... Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I can't wait for us to see it. I can't, I can't wait, wait to, to have a house. I can't wait to live in something that is like real. It's yeah. like real bedrooms and real doors that close. And So remember, caviar taste. On a sunfish budget. Mm -hmm.